Good morning, good morning, you guys, and happy Friday. It's the end of the week. <laughs> I know you guys are so excited about that. I hope you guys have some fun plans, but also, you guys, I hope that you're still going to focus on your weight loss and fitness goals. You can still go out, have a good time, and not drink alcohol. You can still go out and have a good time and eat healthy. <laughs> you can still go out, have a good time, and be active. See? That doesn't have to stop just because it's the weekend, okay? So today is chest shoulders. No. <laughs> that was yesterday. Today is back biceps and abs. Yesterday was chest. So yesterday was great. I hit 60-pound flat bench dumbbell press. Yay! I had a spotter. He assisted me with the first set, the first rep up. But I was able to get way more by myself than I did the last time I did 60s, which I believe was like, I want to say like almost two months ago. I had been doing like 50 pounds and 55 pounds. So, you know, I'm so glad that I got progress there, got stronger there. So that's a plus. Also did some tricep dips, did some push-ups, and did some shoulder flies. So great chest day. Today for back, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be a dumbbell back day. I feel like it could be. Haven't done dumbbell back days in a really long time. These past few back days has been like cables and back machines. So I think we're due for dumbbell back day. We can definitely get some good work there. So that's what we'll do. <laughs> All right. So one thing that I've talked to you guys about is when I first started my weight loss journey, I had a personal trainer and I'm so glad that I hired him. He literally changed my life. Um, my heaviest weight was 340 pounds and now I sit at 240 and he's vegan and I became vegan two months into the journey, but I didn't hire him because he was vegan. I hired him because his energy was right. He seemed very knowledgeable and he just seemed, he seemed like someone I could get along with. And, you know, after working with him for a couple of months, I slowly transitioned into being vegan and that's how that started. But even before I was vegan, he was just telling me the importance of, eating a lot of unprocessed foods, which tends to be vegan stuff. So like your produce section, your fruits, your vegetables, right? Beans, lentils, all of those things, grains. So, you know, he never pushed it on me. He, you know, still said like, if you're going to eat chicken, if you're going to eat salmon, whatever, like that's great. But still make sure that your plate, your dinner plate, your lunch plate is full of vegetables over carbs or full of vegetables over meat like you should have more vegetables on your plate than you do chicken you should have more vegetables on your plate than you do rice okay and i'm so glad that i got that knowledge from him because i didn't know that <laughs> before i started my weight loss journey this go around i didn't know all those things i didn't know that carbs are good for you like sweet potatoes are really good for you fruit is really good for you now, not the fruit in the the um the packets like the dull fruit cups no 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 not the fruit in the cans, but your your fresh fruit or your frozen fruit. That stuff is really, really good for you, and that is a carb. So, you know, he taught me so much stuff, and I'm so glad that I hired him because he really changed my life. And investing in a personal trainer was by far the best money I ever spent. Like, I done went through some money, y'all, <laughs> okay? I have blown through money doing things and going places or whatever, but when I reflect on all the money that I've spent over the past four or five years, hiring a personal trainer was by far the best thing that I ever did. And it was definitely an investment in myself. And I encourage you guys, if you have it in your budget, to hire a personal trainer. Now you'll have to vet them. I don't believe that all personal trainers know what they're talking about. I don't believe that all personal trainers are dedicated to their craft. But if you can find you a personal trainer that really enjoys what they do, they keep themselves educated. They are very knowledgeable in weightlifting and nutrition because weight loss is way more about nutrition than it is whatever you do in the gym, okay? We all know this. And if you don't, now you know. So, you know, invest in a personal trainer. Invest in yourself. And I've, you know, I went from in-person sessions. We did that for about three to four months. Then we dropped down to virtual sessions where we were on like a Google Meet and he would watch me do the workouts. Then we dropped down to where I was just purchasing the workouts but doing them on my own. Oh, excuse me. And then I stopped paying him altogether. And I think I've gotten back to the part of my journey where I'm ready to invest in a personal trainer again just to kind of keep my knowledge up to date, right? Um, it's been 
a year since I've had a personal trainer, so I think it's time to invest in that again. Um, there's a few that I found online that I'm you know, interested in working with, and then I'm also interested in working with the trainer that I was working with before. So I haven't decided who I'm gonna work with, but I do think that it's time for me to invest back into myself again, get this last bit of weight off, um, keep improving my skills, keep improving my knowledge, keep investing in myself, and yeah, so I will keep you guys updated on that, but again, like, you don't know everything, and you, there's always a lot of free information on YouTube, Instagram, that is true, but it's something about that one-on-one -on -one that you get with a personal trainer, like, not only did he teach me about nutrition and working out, like, he was kind of like, <laughs> he's kind of like my counselor, <laughs> like, if you think about it, like, you know, we go through life, we have you know, things that we're dealing with and trying to overcome. And a lot of times the reason why we're overweight in the first place is because we don't know how to handle things in a healthy way. So we use food to deal with depression, anxiety, uh, stress, boredom, right? So, you know, he was also like a, a, a counselor <laughs> in a sense as well. He, he added so much value to my life and I'll forever be grateful. So, you know, invest in yourself. You are worth the investment now. It is considered a luxury, right? Times are hard. so. You know, things may not always be affordable, but even if, you can, even if you can just get like one session a week or two sessions a week, I encourage you to do that because anything is better than nothing and you're gonna get so much out of it that you'll be able to use for the rest of your life. So just some food for thought there. I'm gonna finish getting myself together and I will see you guys at the gym. Bye.